Hi. In today's video I'll be going through um, an editor for Gatling scripts that I've been working on. It's a um, simple kind of jar file, Java executable that you can install on your machine or install on your um, load injectors or in a, in a cloud service if you wish. That manages your scenarios, your data files and execution and reports. So it's quite a handy tool that combines a lot of the Gatling functionality in a common interface. So I'll just go through the kind of how the editor works and, and the process of creating a script. So firstly, just going, going to go through the, the user interface. Um, <coughs> you have on a basically um, it's, it's a single page application. So you have the menu on the left hand side for managing your scripts, your data, your request bodies, the run execution output and the reports. And then on the top navigation bar you have the selection for your, your scenarios and creating scenarios and the scenario definition. So the tool manages the scenario creation and the user um, management for you. So you only really have to write the actual the script bit that does the, the, um, the execution of the gets and post and so on. And, and all of the ramp ups and durations is managed by the tool. So firstly, if you um, so again for drop down here for your for current scenario and creating a new scenario, and then this is the current scenario setup. So I'll click any of these buttons to show you the number of users, uh, the duration that we run the test for, and the ramp up duration. So the shape of the scenario is always ramp up, the duration, and ramp down. Uh, and you got this visual description of how the the uh, scenario looks like. Um, and then you have your run button, and then if you want to delete the the, the, the scenario, and let's work through the the menu items here. So first of all, you have the script item, where is your main bulk of work, I guess. So it's broken down to four sections here, where <coughs> action is the actual block of um, function that is executed by the scenario. So all of these users, four users here for example, they'll be executing this block of activity. So you can edit this um, scenario here. Um, essentially just like you would do in a text editor or something like that. Um, and then you have your imports, uh, your HTTP configuration, your feeders, and then the action. So it essentially just separates the, the, the script a, bit, a little bit so it's a bit more readable. Another thing you do is when you create a new scenario, <coughs> you get this kind of out-of-the-box working scripts. Um, the editor comes up with the internal um, web service that you can run against. So as soon as you create a scenario, it uses a, um, a local server as an endpoint and you can immediately run that test and it, it's a working um, uh, scenario. So it's quite useful for testing things out and and if maybe some endpoints are not working in your system yet you can use the local test for that. It accepts any any type of uh, request, any bodies, any posts, any puts, any, any, any methods and so on. Um, then I'll go through the the, the menu items again. So on the left hand side you have a data item. So this is all your CSV files or JSON files if you would use a tree structured. So essentially it's just a, uh, um, a, a kind of drop drop uh, um, a zone for your documents. So if I put in a CSV file for example here. Just one second. So if I drop this one here, there's a CSV file here. He uploads it and uh, it will give you the data file name and gives you all the parameters in the file. There's only one parameter here, so you can copy paste this for your, your script. Number of rows, and you can kind of see um, a, a sample data by clicking here. I'm going to delete that. You can obviously uh, also use the search field if you have a lot of data. And request bodies work very similarly. So I'm just going to drop in an example 
um, the post body and um, I'm using the bevel script here and the difference between the request body and the data here is you can actually edit this this content here so you can manage your request bodies in the tool itself okay, and delete here now if you press the run button essentially the execution of the test um, gives you kind of out outline of what's going on um, there's some bit of work in progress but essentially you'll, you'll, you'll have a dashboard that shows you the, the response times for each page and you can also get the output as you would get from Gatling um, and here I am running a script and I'm following the output from the Gatling um, and, and also you can see here in the run um, area in the navigation bar you can see the <coughs> the kind of overview of the progress of how far we are into the test you can also if you wish to stop the test by clicking this button here okay now the test is uh, finished um, you've been taking you've you've been taken to the reports um, section and essentially just by clicking here you can see the reports I'm just going to delete a couple of old reports that I no longer need and just by clicking the, the link you'll get the full Gatling report just as you would get running a normal Gatling test okay so that's uh, just pretty much the editor tool it's pretty simple to set up um, just download a one a jar file and Gatling separately and <coughs> you install in the same location and you start the editor and the editor will set everything up for you and you are good to go. Okay, thanks very much for your time.